Let's look at the derivation of the second shifting theorem. Why is the second shifting theorem true? Second shifting theorem says if Laplace transform of f of t is equal to capital F of s, then the Laplace transform of the shifted and delayed version of f of t is equal to e to the minus a s times the same transform f of s. By shifting and delaying the function, I don't really alter the transform. I just multiply the previous transform by e to the minus a s. And I can also show this with substitution. First, I formally insert the function u sub a of t times f of t minus a. That means shift a, shift f a units to the right. a is positive, or negative a units to the right, which means a units to the left if a is negative. And don't turn on that function until I reach a. If I insert that into the definition of Laplace transform, I have this large expression. I could simplify it a little bit by letting tau be t minus a. Then the f of t minus a becomes f of tau, and the e to the minus st becomes e to the minus s times a plus tau, d tau. The ua of t becomes ua of a plus tau. And since t began at zero, when t is zero, tau is minus a. So the limits of my integral change. When t is infinity, infinity minus a is still infinity. So I evaluate this by, again, referring to what the heaviside function means. It's zero until I reach a certain point, and it's one afterwards. So this heaviside function is zero until I reach a. So when I run this integral from minus a to infinity, when is the interior of this heaviside function equal to a? When tau is zero. So from minus a to zero, this heaviside function has a value zero, and the first part of this integral contributes nothing. But when tau is equal to zero, the heaviside function is ua of a. Now it turns into a one. When tau is equal to zero, that turns into one. I have the integral from 0 to infinity, 1 times f of tau, e to the minus s a plus tau d tau. I'll split that exponential into two pieces, e to the minus a s and e to the minus s tau, because the e to the minus a s is constant with respect to tau, and I can remove it from the integral, leaving the integral 0 to infinity, f of tau, e to the minus s tau d tau. Simply because I use the letter tau doesn't change the fact that this is definition of the Laplace transform of little f. This is capital F of s. And the e to the minus a s out front modifies it. How could you say this conveniently in English? The second shifting theorem you express by saying that a transform wrapped in an exponential, a transform times an exponential, is the result of shifting and delaying the original function. So, for example, four words. If I said Laplace transform of u sub 3 of t times t minus 3, I could recognize that this function is a shifted and delayed version of t squared, t minus 3 squared. And so I write the transform for t squared, which is 2 factorial over s cubed. But I have to wrap that in e to the minus 3s. a is 3. I've shifted and delayed it 3 seconds. Let's run something backwards. I was second guessing myself, so I added some scribbles here. But if I want to ask where e to the minus 2s times s over s squared plus 16 comes from, well, I recognize s over s squared plus 16. That is a cosine transform of omega equal to 4. Wrapping that in an exponential just means I'm shifting and delaying the cosine of 4t. Shift to cosine, cosine of 4 times t minus 2, delay it for 2 seconds. That's where this transform came from.